Ahoy hoy, your main man, Jesse Tattoo, coming back at you with some more Sea of Thieves action. Action, action, action. <laughs> Did you guys check out that thumbnail? I'm a little bit proud of old Mr. Ironballs there. <laughs> Anyway, let's get into the meat of this. We're here to talk about cannonballs, and not those kind of balls, no. We're going to talk about some of the rumored cannonballs that might be coming to the game. Okay, now I want to mention that I do truly believe that any of these specialty cannonballs that I'm going to be talking about are going to be very rare. Things that you would get as a reward at the end of a, a, a journey, a voyage thing or uh, as a fort reward, you know, for, for taking out the fort. Um, you know, not something that you're just gonna find everywhere, not in every island. You might find them randomly in caves. Who knows what magical booty they're gonna start hiding around in these islands, because uh, cause as beautiful as this game is, we want more, more, more. Right away, we've been told a cursed cannonball. Now, I've read two types of possibilities for this. One is that it damages your own ship at random. There's just sort of a random ghost effect happens when you fire it and it hurts your own ship. So it's a curse, sure. The other line of thought was, is it shoots a skeleton, if it hits, <laughs> it shoots a skeleton sort of onto the enemy ship. And now all, all the guys that were manning the cannons gotta stop and turn around and deal with this skeleton for a second. And maybe it's like one of them ghost skeletons that's actually kind of hard and you'll have to turn on all your lanterns to defend it or something. And uh, yeah, something like that. So that's the cursed cannon, that, the cannonball. That's one thought, right? Now, there's a bunch of other real types of cannonballs that existed for real. Um, and these are all like speculative cannonballs, but these are ones that really should come to the game. And I'm going to kind of go over a few reasons why I think so anyway. Okay, so let's start with uh, Gripe Shot. Grape Shot. Is it grapes? Like grapes? <laughs> anyway, it's like a shotgun, and it's supposed to shred uh, sails. So you could use this to maybe slow down the enemy ship. You know, like for a limited time or something, perhaps. And, you know, these things being pretty rare, you gotta make sure your shots count and all this kind of jazz. Um, so that's one thing, grape shot. Um, another one is chain shots or like bolo things. These are supposed to take out masts, but I, I don't see the mechanic of actually taking out the mast being a thing that you'd want to do. But I, uh, or maybe not like just, just makes sense in the game, let's say. Um, but it does make sense to for the grape shot to damage the sails. Maybe you gotta repair it or something. Um, I feel I just feel that the mast and the sails would be essentially the same thing. So I feel like they would pick one or the other, either the gripe shot or 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 like the chain shot. One or the other is gonna sort of tie up your sails a little bit and, and you know put a hole in it or something, slow you down. Okay, let's move on. Now, hook shot. Think about this, a lot of people want this, some sort of a harpoon, something that you can shoot at a ship and, you know, maybe kind of tie it up. <clears throat> now, potentially it has hit points that the pirates could swing their uh, uh, um, cutlasses and, like, you know, cut the cut the cord or whatever, so that's, that's a possibility. Um, it, it could also be used for uh, harpooning giant sea animals that we might uh, be getting down the road, potentially, you know? There's definite potential with this harpoon concept, hook concept, fish hook, whatever. Also, fishing would be kind of cool. You could use it to harpoon giant whales or something. I don't know, whatever. That's, again, super speculative. I mean, most of the stuff is speculative right now, so, you know, this is just, it's fun to talk about. I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, don't forget to like the video. And uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, because I've been covering a lot of Sea of Thieves lately. Anyway, let's move back on. Now there's been some talk about an explosive shot, or some sort of a plunger that you can stick on the end of a uh, TNT. 
<laughs> Perhaps. That sounds like something kind of jerry-rigged, Mickey Mouse, that uh, might be kind of fun and, and fit the theme. But you can lob it at other ships and do, you know, the obvious, four, four points of damage. But maybe it's got a... It's so heavy, it's got a really, really awkward lobbing. And it's very wasteful, and it's hard to hit things. So that's that's a possibility. <laughs> something like that would be fun, you know? Um, the, I, I'd read a couple of things about people talking about shooting snakes and, and, and certain cats and things, and you could shoot potential pets over that eventually pets were going to have some sort of a thing that might not be game-breaking, but might have some effect on either players or potentially other players. Um, I, now, I know they, they have said that they didn't want to make pets an unfair thing, and I believe that that was only if, if, if they were going to make it a purely cosmetic item that you could only pay for with money. If there was no way to get them in-game, then they wouldn't make them um, give them any skills. But if they bring pets into the game and just sort of throw away the cosmetic microtransaction side of it, uh, which we would like to see, especially seeing the giant price tag attached to this game. Um, but um, I do understand that it costs money to maintain these games, and you guys all got to understand that too. Uh, I do wish they would drop the price a little bit. It would be nice. It would really implement some new people. Um, I believe that they will do some sort of a sale when they start coming out with the next big patches, when they implement some new content, some big content. They will probably put a sale on shortly after to just help bolster the hype again. Because uh, this game, in my eyes, is still super hype. I love this game. It is a little repetitive, but I am looking at the long haul here. I'm not looking at the short game. I'm not looking to get rich quick. I'm only uh, about a third... No, I'm about halfway to Pirate Legend at this point. Um, I'm not rushing it, you know? I'm taking my time. I'm enjoying the view. Because, oh my, what a view it is. <laughs> oh yeah, and I totally forgot to mention um, anti-personnel cannon. What about something like, maybe that's what the, the Grape Shot could be for. The Grape Shot can be used as an anti-personnel on deck. It really hurts a broad area, like a giant blunderbuss shot, if you will. And then the chain could mess up with your sails and put holes in your sails. That actually makes a little bit of sense, so I don't know, you guys can chew on that. Also, you should all follow me on Twitter, because I post pictures and I tweet. <laughs> Uh, yeah. As, let's be honest, these videos and these open discussions is how we actually create change. And if we want these things, we gotta make our voices heard loud and proud. Anyway, um, I don't know how much more I can talk about for Cannonballs today. So I'm gonna kinda wrap it up around here. Um, so don't forget to like the video if you did enjoy this discussion. And let me know in the comments below if you've got any ideas for cannonballs, because I think this is something that needs to be discussed, is the future of this game. We all want more. Well, what do you want? Let's talk about this, you know? And maybe we can, I can, you know, wrangle up some of this information and we can continue the discussion in the next video. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's discussion. And uh, don't forget to polish your balls good before you fire them off. And uh, I'll see you real soon. <laughs>